Hello, and welcome to a Games Den Beginners Level video for EVE Online. I am your instructor, Rutherford, and this is Skill Training. If you are viewing this from the Games Den YouTube channel, you can also enroll in this course at www.gamesden.com. Just go to Courses on the top menu, choose EVE Online, Beginners, and then Skill Development. Or, I'm sorry, Skill Training. Perfect, so let's uh, take a look at what we're going to be doing. So you'll see here we are currently in the station environment. I am currently in a ship. Now, let's get a little bit more used to this skill training environment. What this is intended for is for new players to the game to, do, to determine what type of skills they need to get into a ship that they want to start flying. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to open up the market or regional market here. And I'm going to choose a ship that I don't currently, or I can't currently use. So ships, uh, destroyers, uh, tactical destroyers, because they're all the rage these days. Uh, let's choose Mimintar Svipel. Excellent. So I just want to show you here. I, I just clicked on the name down here, and then over here we got the, you know, what where they're available. They're available in the station. How much they cost. I just want to let you guys know if you click on the picture at the top here, right at the top where you see the ship click on that with your left mouse button you will see this handy little image come up here I want to let you know that this is available to you okay perfect just to take a closer look and then you also have this little book here for me it's grayed out and when it's grayed out that means that you don't currently have the skills to fly it but if you click on that you will have another menu that'll pop up I'm just gonna remove the station or the market environment for now you will see that this menu pops up. Again, you can click on that image and take a look at the actual ship. Uh, now you'll see this one here. Now that refers to the type of certificate that I currently have. Obviously, because I can't fly it yet, it's certificate level one. What's really nice here is they tell us the total training time required to get into this type of ship. And it's 10 days, 23 hours, three minutes, 35 seconds. So that's a good way to for you to determine whether or not this is something you wanna do in the short term, mid term, or long term. If something that you know you want to invest that 10 days, you can get started right away. If it's 10 days that you just don't want to give up on training and you want to do other things, well, that's the decision you can make. So you will see here that there are three skills that I lack. Uh, number one, Minmatar Tactical Destroyer Level 1, Minmatar Destroyer Level 5, and lastly, Minmatar Frigate Level 3. All right. So be, what you need to know is the first thing you need to really train here is in Mimitar Frigate Level 3 because you cannot take, uh, I believe you can't take the Mimitar Destroyer without that prerequisite. So all I did was I clicked on the Mimitar Destroyer I over here, left mouse button, and I'm going to choose requirements. And yep, as I expected, Mimitar Frigate Level 3 is a requirement. Okay, all you need to do is hit your backspace button and you'll come back to where we were previously. If you don't have a backspace button, there's nice handy backspace, bu backspace buttons up here that uh, CCP makes available to us. Okay, so that's the first thing we need, want to do. We want to go to the market, get by Mimitar Frigate Level 3, and train it. So it would be very simple. We would just go to the regional market, type in Minmatar. Well, you know what? I'm a terrible typer. But if I, you could do it that way. Another way to go is to come here, right click view market details whoa doesn't that rock your world that's a lot easier right click view market details very nice so that now we'll see i'm going to hit jumps here because i want to see what's in the station i clicked it twice and there we go we have 81 units perfect it's a little tiny markup but that's negligible so what i'm going to do is i'm going to buy it i'm going to open up my inventory there's my mimitar frigate throw it over into my items hanger and we'll locate it in the items hanger. And then all you need to do is right click, inject skill, done. So now let's close some of these windows so that we're not, it's, they're not too cluttered. I'm gonna move that off to the side. Let's open up our character sheet by clicking on our image there. Move that over and open training queue. Move that over. And you will notice that, uh, let's see here, it was added. So that would be right in your spaceship command. 
and nothing. See, inventory for get right here. Perfect. What I could do if I wanted to, if I wanted to start right away, take it. I have my finger on the left mouse button and I haven't let go. I'm going to move it up to here and then I'm going to let go. Then I'm going to hit apply. And now I'm training for 14 minutes, 56 seconds. Inventory for get level two. Now it said we need a level three. See this over here? Level three. So what we need to do is say, go back here. See how this is highlighted? Inventory for get level one. Click the left mouse button. Keep your finger on the button and move it underneath level one. If you try to move it to level three, you get the red, uh, red line because you can't train level two before you have level one. You can move it over here, you can move it over here, but let's do it right away and let's do it again. So left mouse button, keep your finger on it, click underneath the two, let go, bam, and then don't forget to hit apply at the bottom. Good. So now what we're doing is over the next what's that uh, six seven that's about seven almost seven and a half eight hours maybe we will be look, working on inventory forget level three at that point what i would do is i would come back to ninja star destroyer level five i would right click on it i would view the market details and then okay there's the jumps let's make sure we get it for a good price what's so normally it's a hundred thousand esque in the station, we're looking at so hundred thousand. Okay, so what we want to do is choose one in the station for the least amount of money. So it's right here, one hundred and forty-five thousand is. That's not bad. I would just right or double click, double click on the left mouse button, and you can buy it. I'm not going to buy it right now. But I would uh, when I finished the inventory for level three skill. And then I go ahead and inject it. Now that one's going to take almost seven days, remember? So, because you need level five. So it's going to take quite a while. Uh, that's the biggest skill that you're going to have to overcome in order to get into the tactical uh, destroyers. Now, once you have level five, you would then right click on the inventory tactical destroyer, view market details, pretty cheap, a million esque approximately and you would then throw that again into your um, training queue and that's how simple it is to take a look to see it what item you're looking at what do you need and what in terms of skills to use that item and then how you would use your character sheet and your training queue to be able to work towards getting into there and modules is the same thing um, let me show you i'll just really quick show you I'll open up the marketplace over on our station menu this time I'm gonna just start clicking anywhere let's say energy neutralizer is medium I want to use a tech 2 medium energy neutralizer there it is that's how much they cost remember I'm gonna go back up to this little eye here or I can use the eye here let's do something a little different this time now I already have the skills for this obviously if I didn't though they would be coming up as not they would not have a check mark I would merely look at to see what I need, right click on them, view market details, buy them, open up the character sheet, open up your training queue, go ahead and inject the skill, throw it into your training queue, apply and away you go. And that's how easy it is. Now there is something called um, CC uh, and uh, CCP came up with that. It's a chart of all the types of ships and you can see and it helps you track and you can take a look to see at what you want to fly next. That's great. I like, I'm an old school kind of guy. I just like using the marketplace, finding what I want to use. If I can't use it, looking at the info requirements and then, and then uh, charting kind of my, my way through the skill path that way. So um, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching this instructional video for EVE Online. If you would like to see more videos, please visit us at www.gamestim.com. Thanks very much and fly safe. Bye now.